but let's move on to the co-main event. Ben Rothwell and Marcos Rodrigo de Lima. We, we got to start here because this is the only thing fucking people are talking about with this fight. Was that a good stoppage by Herb Dean? Because a lot of people are talking about the hesitation, man. When you have a fighter buckle to his knees like that, obviously that was a flash knockout. He came right back to and then shot for the takedown. But if you're a ref, you see a, a man buckle his knees like that and you go to stop the fight, you cannot grab a fighter, tell him to stop the fight, and then once you see he's going for a takedown, change your mind, back up, let them both fall to the ground, and then have a fighter look up at you and went, are you stopping the fight or not, my guy? Like, what, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, okay, it's over. It was, it, was, it was terrible. It was a bad look for Herb Dean, and this wasn't the first time he's had a pretty egregious stoppage, in my opinion. You need to be consistent, man. If you're going to stop the fight, don't hesitate and keep letting it go. Just stop the fight. Take the heat there. If it was a bad stoppage, bad stoppage, you need to just commit to that kind of stuff. Yeah, so under closer examination of this fight, Initially, I was a little bummed, and I was like, wow, he stopped a little too soon. He was hesitant. All the things that you just brought up. However, I went back, kind of watched it again as far as when when Ben went for the takedown, right? Marcos DeLima was right on top of it. Fucking throwing massive bombs. Well, he was going to, and, and then he looks to Herb and was like, are you going to call it or not? I think after looking at that fight, I think Ben Rothwell was done. He would have got yep. finished on the ground regardless. Yep. So I'm actually... Initially, I wasn't on the fight companion, but I have a right to change my mind, right? I can yep. admit when I'm wrong. I think it was a good stoppage. However, I do agree with you. If you are going to stop the fight, you need to just stop it. You can't do this wishy-washy, grab the fighter, and then be like, oh, I don't know, and then go in and stop the fight. But uh, I am glad that he stopped that fight. Yeah, uh, Ant W, good stoppage. The only thing that made it bad was Herb wasn't quick enough. So by the time he got there, they had already changed positions. Yeah, you, can, you just you got to commit, man. You got to fucking commit. You can't just change your mind on the fly like that. And, you know, shout out to Herb Dean. Like, I, st I love the guy. He's a fantastic ref. But it's just, as of late, man, there have been more things like this happening. And I really do think he used to be the golden standard for refing. But now it's, it's like no nonsense. It's Jason Herzog. It's guys like that now. Yep. And uh, all due respect to Herb Dean, though. I really, Absolutely. really enjoy that. But, you know, let's get to the fight. I mean, these men were fucking trading like crazy, man. Like crazy miss. Like, yeah. they just didn't care. Someone's going to sleep real fucking quick. Throw him with reckless abandonment, chin out on a platter, and Marcos just landed way cleaner shots. Ended it real quickly. The yes, power. He did. The power here at heavyweight is just absolutely fucking insane. And that's against Ben Rothwell. This man has a fucking chin of a Greek god. Like, Hercules doesn't even have a chin that Ben Rothwell does, and he still got flatlined like that. That just tells you how much power that man was throwing with. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he he caught him clean there and hit him many times, and it, it was over. It was done. It was fun for the 32 seconds we got it. It, <laughs> it was, was fun. fun. But again, like, you know, Big Ben, and I said this before the fight, this guy's never going to go uh, try to make a title run. He's 40 years old. I, I think he's just in the octagon because he loves it. Yeah. He loves just getting in bangers, and that's what he typically does when he's in the octagon. So, I mean, shout out to Marcos Rodrigo de Lima uh, getting the job done, now sitting 19-8-1. Uh, but, I mean, what do you what do you see? What do you see for Marcos uh, Rodrigo de Lima after that win? Maybe one more unranked matchup, but, I mean, with this heavyweight division, it's probably not too hard to break into the top 15. Let's be real. I mean, you yeah. got Sergey Spivak, uh, Sergey Pavlovich, Sergey Harris. No, I'm just joking. There's, like, nine Sergeys. They're all Russians. <laughs> They're all Sergey. <laughs> <laughs> you got Walt Harris. I mean, Blagoy Ivanov, Augusto Sakai, Tom Aspinall. There's a lot of good matchups. I think yeah. you could slide this guy in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so uh, let's get into church coin bets. I Tate, put... Or, uh, Gids, can you toss me that water? Yeah, I got, I put 500 church coin on Rothwell. Did not work out for me. I think we all took Big Ben here. Uh, Mason, yeah. you had 1550 on Big Ben, and rough. Gids, you had 1,000, my guy. Yeah. Yeah, that was rough. I really, I was, I was planning on just spending it all on Big Ben's chin, and it failed for me. Yeah, it did fail for me, too, epically, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Absolutely. Absolutely.